Right guys, uh, I'm at Orchid Fisheries in uh, Dorchester on Thames. It's end of February, it's been really quite cold. Uh, we're doing three nights. We came down, did the first night, and uh, we spotted out 20 spawns of uh, Smoky Jack, some hemp, corn, some maggot, and some pellets, a bit of a mixture. And uh, we decided on a rod piece, me and my son, to use the Smoky Jack with a tip with a piece of corn. Uh, the corn's been doing very well on here, it's, it's known for it. So we tipped it with it. And uh, my son had a fish yesterday, we didn't weigh it, it was about 18 and 19 pounds, eight o'clock in the morning. So it was not a bad start that came on the Smoky Jack. Uh, the question is, how long has the bait been in development? Well. It isn't an instant thing, it's not one of them things where you just have an idea and knock it up and then shove it out. It was it was a recipe, I had my own bait company from 2010 and I had a bait in development that was, we were a considerable amount of time testing it and uh, I pitched it to Pelly from Spotted Fin that it would be a very, very good idea to include it in the range. He said, well, okay, let's make it up to your recipe and then we'll put it out with some of the testers. This was about, 18 months ago, uh, when I first joined Spotted Fin actually, we got to discussing this. So we, we made the bait, uh, made a few tweaks to it, and uh, we gave it to uh, probably eight of the guys on the testing team, fish all different kinds of waters, some of the guys fish in Europe as well. And uh, I knew it would work because we tried it and one of the things that was apparent was when we used it for barbel, the barbel went crazy on it. It's got a smell a bit like, uh, I suppose, barbecued bacon, a bit like uh, frazzles, the crisps that you could get. It's a bit like that. And uh, it's got a smoke element to it. And uh, it's got LT94 fish meal in it, so it is a fish meal. So bear in mind, we're using it in February and it's a little bit early for a fish meal, but we thought, what the hell, we'll try it. And uh, it's done very, very well. The catalyst is the yardstick, the existing bait that we measured it against and it's, it's held its own very reasonably against it and we're very excited by it so I think it's going to be very very interesting indeed this year coming. In the range there's obviously we do pop-ups, uh, there's, there's various sizes from 10s, 15s, uh, 18s and, and possibly 22s, I'm not sure of the final lineup yet and uh, we do the wafters uh, which are, I use a lot the wafters. We do the uh, the new boily glug which a lot of people expect and which you, you would want to use for uh, enhancing the bait if you fish in certain situations where by you want to pull the fish down and uh, we're going to have associated pellets and uh, basically we even do plastic corn that we're going to thinking of doing to go with the range because uh, we do the existing catalyst in this and uh, everything that you would need for a session is going to be involved with this bait so uh, it's there. We do a, we do a, a type of shape bait that's like a pillow uh, in, the, in the catalyst range and uh, that's a quite quite an interesting uh, approach because a lot of the barbel anglers particularly found them very useful if you're fishing places where there's a bit of flow on a lot of the boilers will trundle away and roll away and if you're fishing places with steep slopes on your bait can collect in the bottom of gullies, roll down the side of bars and things but we found that the pillows present very well and uh, they're different again, different shape, somewhat unusual uh, so I think for certainly for river fishing and for, for you know problem waters where the bait does trundle away the pillars are very uh, useful if you're interested in this range, it's going to be out very shortly. At the moment, we're at the end of February. Uh, I've got the uh, Northern Angling Show where the, the big release is going to be at the weekend. And then it's going to be available. You can buy it off the website and uh, from various shops around the country who stock it. And uh, I think it's going to be, you know, a very interesting prospect. So basically, look out for it. Uh, we've got another 24 hours of the session, so I'm hopeful that we'll catch a few and certainly have another chance. And uh, if you try it, I think you'll be very impressed. So enjoy.